can take your beauty, but give me the ashes. I, I, I can take your grieving and I, and, and I can turn your mourning to death. That you can smile again. You can love again. You can have a new life if you just understand that I'm doing something here. Some of you are pushing away your own promise. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. And I meant it. I meant it. You are pushing away your own promise. You pushing away your own promise. And the Lord is saying, hold on. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I am trying to tell you that I'm doing something new and you can't perceive. Does, does, do the human minds perceive the mysteries of God? That's why you got to say creating me. A clean heart and renew within me a right spirit in order for him to renew in you a right spirit he's got to take away the wrong one some of you right now I love you too some of you right now you don't need to hang around old people meaning not elderly I'm talking about people who always think the same way I ain't got it so you can't get it too I don't believe I'm gonna get it so you'll get it. that means they got a stinking way of thinking and they always gonna keep you broken broken why because they like the level that you want you are going to annoy people on new levels you are supposed to. You are going to annoy people because they got a problem with the level that's on your life. They will never see that level. So they try to destroy that level because they realize I'll never get there. So if I don't get there, I'm going to prevent anybody from getting there too. And that is demonic because it is the seed of discord. That's what the devil does. Anybody that's trying to come against something that God is promoting is from the devil. It is demonic. It's demonic. Someone said, goodness is good. Hold on, I'm not done. The Bible says this. It says in Jeremiah 30 and 17, for I will restore health unto you and your wombs I will heal, declares the Lord, because I have called you an outcast. It is Zion for whom no one cares about. You're sitting there because what happened, hey baby, because what's happening is you're around people that tell you down, they don't care about you. You're around people that says, man, you'll never recover from divorce. You're around people that say, man, you'll never get married. No, you'll never. They will knock anything good in your life. Those are some demonic people. You get married and they got a problem with it. You have a baby, they got a problem with it. You get a house, they got a problem with it. You stop smoking, they got a problem with it. You stop drinking, they got a problem with it. You stop, uh, you know, going around, laying up with everything that they nailed down, man, woman, whatever it is, and they got a problem with it. Anything is good, they put pollution on it. Those are demonic people because they don't comprehend the things of God. God, they only look at you through demonic eyes. They don't comprehend the things of God. They only look at you through demonic eyes. I'm going to say it again. They do not comprehend the way God looks at you because they are looking at you through demonic eyes. They're demonic. You're doing something good and they're tearing it apart. You doing something good and they tearing it apart. You going back to school and they tearing it apart. They will find a fault in you because they're looking at you through demonic eyes. You get married, they don't I bet she pregnant. Look, the, the, the wedding came first. And let the baby shower, it's more baby showers going up the timeline than weddings. Well, I bet they, I bet they, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, that. no, because you're demonic and there's nothing good that comes from anyone demonic, but mess. Have you ever had something good? And you just wanted to call your mom and be like, mom, let me tell you what happened. Mm -mm, mm, I ain't telling my mama nothing because she negative. I ain't telling my daddy nothing. He's negative. Have you ever just had some negative parents that you ain't share nothing with? That's negative. That, man, you know what? I stopped smoking. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing that for. You ain't going to do nothing but get high on something else. Well, I, what, what dang? Man, I finally left him. Not for what? Give him five, four, three. You going to be back? Well, what about this time? I really mean it. I had to get here. Ain't not, th there is nothing good. And the Bible says, do you not understand? There's even better friendships. There's better connections. And there's better people than the ones you surround yourself with. God dang. How, are you, how, how long are you going to stay in this situation? How long are you going to let these people do this to you? How long? Dang it. How long? People on social media, somebody always got something to say. See, social media is a good thing, but it's also a place for cowards. Because cowards will hide behind anything just to say something negative about you. And a person that's saying something negative about you may be your sister. May be your brother. May be your father. May be your mama. I, you know it's an ex. 
They just steal somebody's profile just to say what they've been holding on the whole time. Now, I am not going to rip into that comment. This girl said, that's my mama all day. That's what she said. I ain't going to say her name. They will hijack your picture simply to let you know how they feel. And you'll call them, good girl, you know what somebody said about me? Somebody just hey, died. Well, do you know that might have been your mama? You know that might have been your sister. That might have been somebody you've been cool with. Because they can't stand the movement in your life they see. They can't stand that. There's a little bit of joy there. There's a little bit of happy. People will watch you smile just to look. People will watch you smile just to come up with a plan to make you frown. People will watch you smile simply to come up with a plan to make you frown. They're trolling. They're trolling right now. They call it trolling because that's exactly what they look like. I'm not talking about poppy troll either. I'm talking about a Birkin. People are like, what is she talking about? I like cartoons. Anyone that knows me knows that I love cartoons. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord is saying, do you not know that with better connections comes a better breed of people? With better connections comes a better breed of people. With better connections comes a better breed of people. With better connections comes a better breed of people. And that's why you got to be careful because people watch who you connect yourself to in the season. And the Lord says, hold on. There is a better life than the one you live in now. And it's going to come through connecting with the right people. Read the entire scripture of Isaiah 61. It is a new creation. It is the year of the favor. It is the year of the Lord's favor. Today, our offering is 37 do not play with this. Don't play with it. It is 37, 27, or 57. 37, 47, or 57 on Isaiah 61, the entire scripture. Because this is the scripture that the year of the Lord's favor is on. The sovereignty of God will solve all your problems. Gosh. The sovereignty of God. Will solve all your problems. Go to www.carchronicles.org or dollar sign CCM 7777 on Isaiah 61, 27, 37, or 57. You guys don't play with this because something's got to give. And the sovereignty of God will save and solve all your problems. It is a solution that God is saying, I will give you a better life if you just trust me through the process. He says, I got to break your heart to save your life because you are doing the wrong thing. Have you ever got divorced and it was the greatest thing that ever happened to you? Have you ever lost a job and it was the greatest thing that ever happened? Sometimes a persecution can push you to a promise. God, a persecution can push you to a problem. That's why he said, lean not to thine own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge me. And when you acknowledge me, then I can direct you and you will see it is working out for you're good. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. He said, I'm a blessed and cheerful giver. He said, hear me. I need those of you right now who understand the power of being a cheerful giver. Your offering is 77. If you understand the power of the cheerful giver, there is a power. Hear this. I got you, Valerie Thomas. There is a power associated it. Hear me. Elder Michelle, this Valerie Thompson that's on here, I need you to get it because she can't do that. She has to understand that there is a protocol because we live in a world where people are doing all kind of stuff. There was a power associated it. The law of kingdom reciprocity is very real. He said, listen to me. Someone said, all the ways, all the ways, bunny, bless you. Hear me. The Holy Spirit said, listen, he said, do you not understand? I will sustain you in a barren land. Laura James said, this, this is a true story. I will sustain you. I will sustain you in a barren land. Hear me. Hear me. I will sustain you. Yolanda Glass said, no, I'm a cheerful giver. I'll do the 77. This is offering time. And this is your faith. You need to take it serious. Because the witches in Warlock taking their crap, crap serious. 
The tarot card reader is taking her job serious. They're taking it serious. So you who are in salvation, and when their stuff go left, they come right back there and pray for me. Because a witch will ask you to pray for them all the time. A warlock will say pray for me all the time. Because they realize now that I'm being tormented by the very stuff that I that I that I that I served. I'm being tormented now by the very thing that I thought I had control of. Hear me. Carlene Johnson, bless you. I'm being tormented by the very thing that I thought I had control over. The Holy Spirit said, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to go sit with no, no, no tarot card reader to say your chakras are blocked. That's why you can't find love. You need to find a therapist to see what's going on. But hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. It is on Isaiah 61. Hear me by way of the Holy Spirit. There is a better life than the one that you're living right now. It is a better life than the one you're living right now. Do not pay Valerie Thompson no mind. Now Michelle is on it. Because this is social media. And there are all kind of people on here. And we have to reverence. I am trustworthy. You guys know where my church is. I am a real pastor. I'm not a fake one. Hear me. Hear me. There was a better life. There was a better life. There was a better life. Someone said my divorce and losing my job pushed me to UCI. Hear me. It's a better life. Those of you who are watching the replay, God bless you. Go to www.carchronicles.org. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, right now, there is a better life than the one that the people of God are living right now, no matter what it is. The favorable year of the Lord shall find them and meet every person. Holy Spirit, give double to the seed sower because they understand the reciprocity of their faith. But give them the spirit of obedience that they will hear, obey, and move. Do something so supernatural until they cannot comprehend the thrust of your power that it'll happen like lightning ah, that the life that they know it will shift and move when the favor of God is released release it on everyone right now that hears my voice dry tears that life calls because you are the great interpreter to hear victory scream through the watery tears that flows out of their face. Change their sorrow. Change their found. Change their sadness and their depression. Switch how they think about life. So they can receive a better one. In Jesus name we pray. Now advocate the Holy Spirit. Begin to move God and remove. Woo! Begin to move, guide, and remove. For all things work together for the good for these people who love you. God bless you. Instagram, I love you so much. I praise God for everyone that watched. Please, please, please share this with your friends. Share this with your family. But it's going to be all right. I promise you it's going to be all right. God bless you. 